Hi everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, I had shown you how you can download Java and how you can install. In this video, I am going to show you how you can configure the path and class path of Java. Installing Java in your machine is not only sufficient in order to run any Java program or any other related program. So for that, we'll have to configure path as well as class path of Java. So in this video, we will watch in complete details how we can configure the path and class path of java before that if you haven't watched my previous video on how to install java on windows machine you can go to the description find the link and you can watch the video before proceeding to this video let us now see how we can configure the path and class path in our system Before going to that we can check first in our system whether path and class path are configured or not in order to check that first of all you need to open command prompt go to command prompt and you can simply type java and enter you can see it's displaying the error java is not recognized as an internal or external command also you can check with java c this is also displaying the error java c is not recognized as internal or external command so this confirm that the java path and class path is not set in my system so to set that so first of all we will go to this pc then right click go to properties then click on advanced system setting and then move to the advanced tab of system properties so you can see here by default it is selected and then you need to click on this environment variable once you click on this environment variable you can see here the environment variables window opens up here so you can see there are two sections first one is user variable and second one is system variable so you can set path and class path either in your user variable or you can set in system variable also to set that first of all what you will have to do you can check it here like whether already it's there or not it might happen while using any other application you might have set some path or class path as well so you can check it out if not then what you need to do just click on this new button and in the variable name first of all we will set java home so you can give java underscore home and in the variable value what you need to do you need to give the value of the location of your jdk file so first of all we will find that the path of that jdk so go to your the c drive under this program files and under that you will find java and under that you need to go to the jdk versions that you have installed in your machine so after that what you need to do click over here and just copy this path so you can see up to here like jdk 1.8 so you can copy up to here okay whatever the versions you have you might have the some latest version or also some previous version as well so as per your availability in system you can copy this path and again go back to the same variable value and paste it over here after that just click on ok so you can see here the java home is now available now in order to set path again you can check it out or directly you can click on new so here you can see the path is already present for me so what i will do just i will go over here ok and click on edit so you can see already some paths are set here so what i will do in order to set the path of a java you can click on new so it will create a space for you and you can write modulo java underscore home then again modulo or you can say the percentage symbol and you need to give the bin so what will happen like it will locate this bin folder okay and whatever the executable files and related files you can see there are a lots of files which are inside the bin it will refer to all these files so you can directly copy from here or 
it's better from here to give only up to bin and now you can click on ok so this will set your path now again next you have to set class path so you can also again search here if not okay then you can create the new variable and you can give the name as class path and if it's already present you can just give the value okay so what you will do here you will give here java underscore home backward slash in class path you need to give the location of lib so in this way you can set your path and path of java so now finally click on ok ok and then now you can check it out whether all these are configured successfully or not so in order to check it again you will have to again open the command prompt so type cmd in your search bar and then go to the command prompt and just you can type here java so now you can see it's now not throwing any error and it's displaying some commands now again you type java c and hit the enter key so you will again find some command over here so in this way you can confirm whether the path and class path of your java is configured properly or not so i hope after watching this video you will be easy able to configure class path and path of java in your system so if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends thank you